Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hi, this is Leo Laporte, and once again, time for Twit's audience survey. We'd really like to hear from you. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, really. That's all. Just go to twit.tv slash survey and let us know what you think. Your anonymous feedback will help us make Twit even better. And thanks for your continued support. This is Android App Arena, episode 138 for Wednesday, February 22nd, 2017. Pomodoro Productivity. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by BarkBox. BarkBox pop picks the best all-natural treats and innovative toys for your dog and ships them right to your door. To receive a free month of BarkBox with your 6 or 12 month subscription and free shipping, visit getbarkbox.com slash twit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Sometimes I feel like the internet is both good and bad for my mental health because, uh, you know, sometimes it's good. I have instant access to the world's information. And that's a good thing. But bad because with that instant access comes a snowball of distraction at all times of the day and night. Tools that allow me to focus on my work are invaluable in this case. One technique that many swear by is something called Pomodoro. Have you ever seen those tomato-shaped timers in kitchens? Well, Pomodoro is Italian for tomato, and Pomodoros, in this case, refers to intervals of time spent focused on a particular task. It works like this. You sit down to work on something, you set a timer for 25 minutes. No distractions during those 25 minutes, just focused work. At the end of the 25 minutes, the timer rings, and you're then awarded five minutes of rest to do with what you choose. Once that time is up, back to work for another 25 minutes. At the end of four full cycles, you're awarded a longer break of something like 25 minutes. Doing this is said to heighten your focus and effectiveness while you're working. Today, I'm going to check out a few apps that utilize the lessons of Pomodoro technique to get you productive in this week's roundup. When possible, I like to start things off with an ad-free and open source entry into the category. And in this case, that app is Good Time Productivity Timer, a relatively trim and simple Pomodoro app that brings the basics, but really encapsulates what you need to get things done. The interface is dead simple with a reading of the 25 minute session of work that I'm about to kick off. That's all you see really. Tap to begin and it's time to get busy. Now in the settings, I can actually determine what the device does during that work time, things like disabling any sound or vibration uh, so that I'm not distracted from my phone while the timer's going, also turning off Wi-Fi to avoid constant updates of things that could pull me away from my work. I can even set it to go full screen so my notification pane is hidden from view so I'm not distracted there. Now, once that timer hits 25 minutes, I'm then awarded five glorious minutes of break time, get up, stretch, whatever, just stop working. Once that five minute countdown is done, 25 more minutes are queued up and it's back to work. Then, as I said, once four full sessions have passed, I'm awarded a longer break. All these session times are modifiable in the settings to get it just right for my own work habits. And as you can see, with white text on black background, it's actually AMOLED friendly, so it won't burn your battery while it's running full screen. Good time is free in the Play Store right now. Up next is an app that adds to the previous one with some additional features, but still kind of keeps things a bit bare. Tide, stay focused, is a Pomodoro timer app combined with a relaxation app, which could help some people get in the mood to focus on their work. On the start screen you see here, I can swipe left to right to select a few different themes, including background images that change daily. But these do more than just change the hue of the background image and the image that you see. On rain, for example, once I tap to start the timer, I'm shown the 25 minute countdown timer, but also I'm serenaded with the sound of a gentle rainstorm. While this is playing, I can swipe to choose others like Forest, Muse, which is basically some super mellow piano music, uh, and Cafe for a little background hustle and bustle. Of course, I can always tap the clock and that'll deactivate the sound altogether. 
Now, what you don't get with this interface is any way to skip ahead in the timer or jump to a break. It keeps you on track. Sure enough, though, in settings, there are controls for determining the timing of all of those periods of work and rest. And in the interface, those will kick in as you work, all done automatically for you. Tide Stay Focused can be found in the Play Store for free. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is BarkBox. BarkBox delivers four to six natural treats and fun toys for your dog curated around a surprise theme each month. BarkBox paw picks the best all natural treats and innovative toys to match your dog's unique needs, including allergies and heavy chewer preferences. All edibles are actually made in the USA or Canada, and 100% of their products are tested on animals their own. They're all, they're all animal lovers with BarkBox. BarkBox is a great way to try a variety of treats and toys from local and small businesses that you may not otherwise be able to find. So there's some boutique stuff in there. BarkBox also makes their own products through their Bark & Co. brand. They've actually shipped over 16 million toys and treats so far. And getting started is super easy. You just choose your dog size. If you have a small and cute dog up to 20 pounds, you can choose that. Or just right is 20 to 50 pounds. Or big and bold, that's 50 or more pounds. And then you choose a plan. One, six, or even 12-month plans are available. You get your bark box, which are shipped on the 15th of each month. And that'll keep your dog engaged, interested, even happy. If your dog doesn't like something in the bark box, they'll send you something else for free. Scout's Honor. And when your dog falls in love with something from the box, you can easily find it again on BarkShop.com or the BarkBox app. You can cancel anytime. Shipping is free in the continental U.S. It's just a whole lot of fun if you've got a dog. So give your dog the joy of a million belly scratches. Get one month free and free shipping with your 6 or 12 month subscription by visiting GetBarkBox.com slash twit. That's GetBarkBox.com slash twit. And we thank BarkBox for their support. All right, spent some time looking at some basic Pomodoro timers before the ad. Now it's time to expand a bit on those features just a little bit more. Here's a Pomodoro app that is perfect for those that like a little bit of extra data on the back end to prove just how productive they really were. Brain Focus provides a simple interface at first, but has a lot going on under the hood that we'll get to. Here's the main timer screen. When I'm ready to get started, I tap the brain focus icon underneath and I'm shown the time that's left as well as a circular progress bar that indicates how long I have to go. It's easy for glancing. Controls over that time sit below so I can skip around if I need to, pause it, resume, all that kind of stuff. And up top, you can see one of four brain focus icons blinking, telling me I'm in the first of four 25 minute focus blocks right now. If I need to add a quick minute to the time, say I get distracted mid focus, I can tap that plus one button to add it quickly. Once that hits zero, my five minute break begins and then back into the second work block through all four. At that point, I get the longer break. The overflow menu has access to my statistics where my progress is broken down by day and that data can be exported to CSV if you happen to have the pro version. I'll get to that in a second. In tasks, I can spell out separate projects that require my time and attention. So if I return to one repeatedly, I can actually jump into it and work according to its own individual timer settings, for example. Finally, I can set categories, and that's where tasks can kind of fall within. There's a lot of organization here. And settings is jam-packed with customizations for pretty much everything you might want. The pro version is available inside the app. That starts at $1.50 dollar fifty donation actually, and adds a fancy widget for your home screen that gives you quick controls to fire off a session and control it without having to jump into the app itself. Also data export for analysis of your work habits outside of the app and unlimited categories. You can find Brain Focus in the Play Store now. In the Pomodoro space, this app is kind of the granddaddy of them all. It's called Pomo To Do, and it's feature rich and cross-platform, so you'll never be without it. Not only that, it's like a combination of a Pomodoro timer along with a to-do list, meaning the way you tackle that list of things is to apply the Pomodoro techniques to get them done orderly. Here's my main to-do screen. I'll tap to add a new to-do in this case. How about a little research for the shows that I do here at Twit? Since that's important, 
I'll drop a pin on it to prioritize it, and that's going to shuffle it up to the top of the list. I can also manually sort this list by tap holding on an item and then dragging it up or down. Now I'll tap the play button down below and I'm shown my timer screen with 25 minutes counting down and one of my high priority to do's research in this case. I'll do what's needed, of course, following the standard 25 minutes of work, five minutes of rest that Pomodoro stresses. And once I achieve that goal, I tap the time, I can write in what happened along the way. In this case, I completed my research. Way to go. Over time, my data will be collected within the app to give some statistics on how I work and when I work best, what time of day is best for me. The preferences, as you can see, are jam-packed with the usual tweaks, but also others like blocking apps while working, specific apps if I like. I can also set daily goals for my productivity, and there's support for Android Wear smartwatches. Pomo To Do is free, but for $4 per month or $40 per year, expanded features like sub-level to-dos as well as reminders are added, and those goals that I mentioned before are added into the interface too. And because it's cross-platform, even your timer progress is synced across devices in real time. Find Pomo To Do in the Play Store now. With social media and a million things to do, it's easy to get distracted. Hopefully some of these Pomodoro apps will help you stay focused so you can have time later for all of that distraction. Or, I don't know, take a walk. Either way. Send me your favorite apps or categories to arena at twit.tv. You can also post those to the subreddit, androidapparena.reddit.com. Uh, the recorded show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Today. That's at twit.tv slash live. And new episodes will appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena. Mm -hmm.